Blossomy people out there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nirupama, and I hope you all are doing great. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about grooming, female grooming. So, I have already made a video about male grooming, and I will leave the link over here so you can click and you can watch it. And today, we are going to talk about female grooming. So, uh, yeah, let's just get started. So, firstly, I would like to talk about the hair, the hairstyle. So now when you go for the interview, please make sure that your hair is tied up in a bun. Like the one which you can see I have made. So you can make a hairstyle, something like this. That is also appropriate for your uh, interview. Make sure that the hair doesn't fall on your face. That is very important. It should be away from your face. So that is one thing you have to keep in mind. Also, uh, you can make any sort of bun like uh, French twist or classic bun, donut bun or braided bun you know these are some hairstyles which you can go for if you have long hair if i talk about short hair like let's say if you have this short hair you can keep it open but again make sure that you uh, pin it up so that it should not come on your face the hair should not come or fall on your face let's say if you have this long hair and you can't make a bun so you can make a pony but again it should be neatly tied up all right again the hair stand should not come on your face it, it should basically what i'm trying to say your hair should be neatly done all right again if you want you can go ahead you can use some gel on your hair or you can use aloe vera gel if you don't want to use like the normal gel which you, because you think that it's not good for your hair so you can go ahead and apply an aloe vera gel also that also works pretty well so that you can do i would suggest you that when you are going for an interview and when you make your bun after that secure it with a jura net that gives a very neat look again so make sure you do that i'm also planning to make a separate video about the hairstyles like different types of bun which you can make let's see if uh, when it happens but i'm planning to do that for now this is what you have to keep in mind. Next would be makeup. Now you have to make sure that you go for a very professional look again, a very formal look. So you understand one thing, you're not going for a party, you're not going for a wedding, all right? You're going for an interview, for a formal event. So you have to look professional. So you can't go for a smoky eyes or dark lips and all of that. M make it look subtle, make it look professional. That's what that's what I would say. So you simply what you have to do, just apply foundation, a thin layer of foundation. Okay, you if you want, you can apply a concealer. All right, your compact powder, lipstick, mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadow. Eyeshadow again, very natural looking eyeshadow. You can apply that. And uh, what else you need to apply? Yeah, that's all. Eyebrow. Eyebrow is very important. So make sure you do your eyebrows also. And yeah, you're good to go. So keep it very simple, keep it very subtle, not too loud, all right? Again, I would like to repeat that. Also, if I talk about your foundation, so that should be matching your skin color. It should not be too bright, it should not be too dark. It should be exactly your skin color. When you go to a makeup store, so make sure you try it out on yourself. So you can apply it here. I've seen generally people applying it here. See, the skin color doesn't match, okay? So you simply apply it here, you blend it. Let it sit for some time. Maybe you can walk around and then you can come back and then you can see. Because sometimes some foundation oxidize also and it becomes darker, you know. So uh, you can apply that on your face. You can just maybe, you know, do other work. Um, you can If you're going to a mall, then you can, you know, get other work done. Go to a place or something or shopping and then come back and then see. If it's not blend ho gaya skin mein, then that's the bright color because kuch foundation shade time bhi lagate hain aapke skin mein blend hone mein so you can do that okay lipstick shade again as per your skin tone jaisa aapka skin tone hai uske hisab se hi aap lip shades uh, choose kijiye because zaruri nahi hai ki jo lip shade dusre pe bahut acha lag raha hai aap pe acha lagega ya dusre pe acha nahi lag raha hai aap pe acha nahi lagega you know every person has a different skin tone so make sure you go as per that all right again don't make sure ki which aapka lip shade hai it should not be too loud okay also make sure jo aapka makeup ho acche se blended ho aapke skin mein agar aap blush laga rahe ho should be blended properly and avoid uh, harsh contouring because that uh, just again too much of contouring also doesn't look nice again you are going for a formal event you are not going for a party or a wedding so keep that in mind again one more thing i would like to tell you here is moisturize your skin okay prep your skin properly aapki skin achhi hai to makeup bhi acha lagega agar aapki skin achhi nahi hai 
तो मेकअप भी उतना निखर के नहीं आएगा ठीक है सो मेक श्योर योर स्किन इज मॉइस्चराइज प्रॉपरली अप्लाई योर मॉइस्चराइजर अप्लाई योर सनस्क्रीन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके सो मेक श्योर यू डोंट मिस दैट स्टेप एंड योर लिप्स शुड बी मॉइस्चराइज बिफोर यू अप्लाई द लिपस्टिक okay so make sure you don't forget these steps these are very important steps now talking about accessories so wear a classic watch avoid wearing the smart watches again the dial doesn't it make sure that your size of dial guys should not be too bulky big you know avoid such uh, sort of watches keep it very simple a simple classic watch is way to go and then if i talk about other accessories if you wear any bracelet like too many bracelets or that bohemian women sort of bracelet so i would say just remove all of that you don't need it all right you can wear a dainty one but then if if you ask me you don't need that so make sure you're not wearing any of those now if i talk about the rings so make sure you're wearing a simple ring a very dainty piece of jewelry you can wear in one hand that is it okay not too many rings if i talk about your earrings so make sure you don't wear something like this of course you will not wear something like this but wear again uh, the studs you know the pearl stud or the diamond stud stud whatever you have you can wear either one of these okay a simple stud and you cannot miss it okay that is also very important okay so you can it's not like you don't wear it at all please wear something but again it has to be a small stud okay pearl diamond whatever is there with you you can wear that again if you're wearing a chain please remove it so the only piece of jewelry which you will be wearing is your watch and the studs and a ring okay in one hand that is it next would be hands so make sure uh, again it should be moisturized properly okay it should be groomed properly again if you have long nails so i would say that you know file it properly give it a proper shape it should not be too long the nail length should not be too long apply a nail polish you can go for pearl white or any pinky sort of a shade but avoid the dark shades like black uh, red yellow green all of that please avoid you can wear a nude shade also light nude shade so basically a light colored nail polish is perfect even if you want you can go for a french manicure that looks the best okay but please keep the length in mind it should not be too long now uh, talking about the clothing again you can wear a business suit with a skirt or with a trouser whatever you are comfortable with but when you are going for a cabin crew interview i would suggest that wear a skirt because a lot of airlines has uniform like you know skirts and dresses so i would suggest you to go for a skirt when you're going for an interview now the color which you can go for uh is black dark blue dark gray so these are some colors you can go for when i talk about the business suit or the color of your skirt not necessary for you to wear the suit like a complete suit you can you can simply wear the blouse which is your shirt and the skirt and you are good to go all right and now when i talk about the blouse the shirt again the color make sure it is blue light blue or uh, white or light pink i remember when i went for my interview so i had to go twice so one day i wore a white colored shirt and the second day i wore the light no no one day i wore the light blue shirt and the other day i wore the light pink shirt so you can go something for something like that okay now another thing when you are wearing the skirt you have to wear the stockings a uh, nude stockings or the black stockings you can choose any one of these you have to wear the stockings along with that very important so don't forget that it next would be shoes what shoes to wear okay so wear a black formal shoes with the heels black formal heels okay so um, don't wear stilettos don't wear pencil heels don't wear go for block heels wear the standard formal heels because that doesn't look formal also very uncomfortable uncomfortable to wear because when you go for the interview aapko kafi chalna bhi pad sakta hai and you know bhag daud karni pad sakti hai so uske liye please aap koshish kijiye ki aap ek comfortable pair of shoes rakhe lastly i would like to talk about personal hygiene body order bahut zaruri hai ki aap is baat ka dhyan rakhe uske liye aap kya karenge of course everybody takes shower and everybody take care of that but make sure you wear a nice fragrance any perfume body mist डिओड्रेन वॉट एवर यूज आप उसका इस्तेमाल करें और आप उसे अपने बैग में भी रखें जब भी आप ट्रैवल करते हैं ये एक चीज होनी चाहिए आपके बैग में एट ऑल गिवन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज देखिए आप ट्रैवल करते हैं गर्मी है आप स्वेट करें यू नो यू नो सो जब आप स्प्रे करते हैं तो यू फील फ्रेश एंड देन जो आपके आसपास के लोगों को भी अच्छा लगता है कि 
oh what is that fragrance kaun sa perfume and they will come and ask you if it is a really nice perfume so wo bhi cheeze hote hain strong nahi hona chahiye kyunki usse headache ho sakta hai mujhe headache hota hai personally agar bahut strong perfume bheja uh, kisi ne pehna ho and it's a distraction then you can't pay attention to what to what the person is saying and you don't want it to happen especially on your interview day so make sure you wear a light fragrance a floral jo bhi aapko pasand hai but a light fragrance stick and keep the bottle with you so that you can just um, you know spritz it whenever you it's required okay so that is very important uska dhyan aapko hi rakhna hai because if you smell bad nobody will come and tell you but they will go and tell their other people ki oh uske paas hai bahut badbu aati hai you know so you don't want people to talk like that about you so please make sure is cheez ka dhyan aap rakhe saath mein aap ek uh, ek aur cheez uh, dental hygiene theek hai so uske liye aap kya kar sakte hain you can keep after mint तो आपको स्पेशली खरीदने की जरूरत नहीं है घर में सॉफ्ट सभी के घर में सॉफ्ट होती है इलायची होती है आप उसे एक छोटी सी डिब्बी में रख सकते हैं सो या दैट्स प्रेडी मच इट फॉर दिस वीडियो आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो आई होप यू फाइंड इट हेल्पफुल इफ यू डू मेक श्योर यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल प्रेस बेल लाइक नेक्स्ट यू सब्सक्राइब बटन सो दैट यू विल बी नोटिफाइड नेक्स्ट टाइम आई अपलोड अ वीडियो एंड या दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस वीडियो आई शेल सी यू इन माई नेक्स्ट वन Take care.